This is step one. Take off the label and cut the bottle in half. After cutting the bottle in half, I discovered that the neck did not go to the bottom of the base. So I will cut a little off the top of the base and the neck should go further down, reaching the bottom to picking up water. Ah, now this is what I'm talking about. After cutting the top off a little bit more, the neck of the bottle goes to the bottom. Now comes the time to put the screen across the neck of the bottle. I do not want the soil to flow out into the water, so I decided I would put a piece of screen across it. I searched for a rubber band, could not find any, so I'll just use this wire instead. Now I have the screen on, the wire is holding it in place, and it's secured down. Okay, now I have the screen on, the wire in place, and I took my little handy dandy scissors and trimmed off all the excess screen. Now we see that we have the base filled with my pond water and the top of the bottle filled with my homemade potting soil. This is just to show you what everything looks like apart. Okay, I thought I'd throw in another picture. This has a better angle and better view. Here we go, it's all together. I guess I'm about ready to throw in some seeds and get started growing. Okay, now if the base ever runs out of water, just lift up the top compartment, fill it up with water, set the top compartment back down, and you shouldn't have to worry about watering it. How simple is this? Happy gardening!